you're watching Lock Picking Legend, and there's been so many new legends recently, so thanks for subscribing. This is the new Leashy S Groove Double S Double O Two. They call it the S Groove because they're implying it's like a Yale profile. There's the S of that. And I'll pop this in, that, that's a union there. And this is why the excitement, this is a sterling. Because the idea being this new leash is going to open all those UK Yales. There's a, a Euro spec, terrible marketing. Have you got an E star S lock please mate? <laughs> that was a Yale. This is a Vier, aka Zoo. Other more more great marketing, and this is an old era as well. And um, to be honest with you, I'm not impressed with this tool at, at all. I've got I've got a baster in there. It will be uh, the, that also fits the Yale profile. But let's have a look. Let's get this leashy pit working. I I grabbed a load of my locks and I went through them, and I just wasn't impressed. For various reasons, this is this is a Yale lock. This is you know this is the one everyone's like, oh yeah, nice. And the the problem is, once we get it in there, you know, if you watch my video on me using a leashy uh, auto auto pick, you'll see that I can use these picks rapid style, but these just get stuck. They, they, the, the, the picking arm gets stuck. I'll try it on the sterling. Yeah, that's not even going in there, even though the Yale key goes in there. We'll have a go at the uh, basta. You basta. And, and, and here's the issue. I've seen people on other videos sort of saying... No, it does, it fits this, it fits that. You know, because you've also got loads of generic locks, universal, OEMs, you know, unbranded. But even when it picks them, I'm dubious about their ability to decode. You know, there's quite a lot of play with uh, where the picking uh, guide goes. And will you be able to decode that? I wouldn't be confident, and with a, a leashy auto pick, I'll have that decoded for you in a matter of minutes. So even when you are getting a pick, you're not necessarily getting the ability to decode. See, there's the uh, basta. <laughs> we're not bastards around here. We're legends. And now here is another problem. Try it anti-clockwise, and we start running into problems. We start running into. I've had I've had some locks not pick anti-clockwise. Now you might say that. Well, why is that a problem? Well, it's not a problem necessarily on a on a vehicle. But you might have a lump of wood on a door frame stopping you from picking that lock. See where I'm coming from. So if you can't pick it anti-clockwise, you've got you got problems. I suppose you could bodge the wrench on the other side. And I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna mess around with this bastard. <laughs> I, I, I've just been shocked at the the uh, the excitement over this thing. We've got an announcement to make soon that will blow your mind. Don't, don't, I've seen these picks from $30 up to sort of $70. Keep hold of your money. Like, here's an era. And, you know, the, the thing is, oh, oh, look, look how quickly you can pick that era. Well, let's be honest, you can... Pick an era rim cylinder with a Bogota or something in about 20 seconds. I mean, are you really going to pay $40, $50 for that? 
And and if you're doing it for if it's lock sport, if it's lock sport, it's a waste of time because you paid your money, you've opened your lock, you've put it in your drawer, you've never used it again. And if you if you're if you're working in the field, you can open an ear a rim cylinder for gold's sake. You know, the other videos I saw are like, whoa, look, Leashy have, have got this S groove. It's a, it's a Yale pattern. And, you know, this is now taking me longer to pick this era than it's ever taken me to pick an, <laughs> an era rim cylinder. Wow. Right, and again, I'll show you trying to do it anti-clockwise. What happens is, obviously, I might do a cross section to show you, like the other cross section videos, but the picking tip kind of drags. It drags on the pins, and so you're not you're not able to pick it. it, it there's there's, there's it, there's something weird about the anti-clockwise. And that that big bit of wood, madam, is preventing me from opening your door. 50 quid to not be able to open an era. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, have a look at that, Vera. I think, Vera. Well, me too again. That song is legendary. I won't bother with the vice. But um, yeah, Zoo. They're also known as Zoo. <laughs> These poor companies that set up before the internet, like that Eurostar. <laughs> There's the problem. Euro. It's they're called Eurospec, but their logo is E Star S. And I know people who've been in the game for decades who still call them E Star S. Imagine trying to search for that on Google. And you know, in fairness, I have had this this VR open a few times with this pick, but so what? You know, I'll say it again. If you're if you're if you're picking locks professionally, you should be able to pick. Oh, and while I'm there, by the way, this is a five-pin pick. So not only is the decoding ability dubious, most UK locks are six pin, so kind of pointless. Well, there you go. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've got to get my S groove double S double O two. I'll tell you what, let's just stick a Bogotar in there, which any modern set has got at least one in it. No, no fancy raking, just your general scrubbing. I think this one come out of a multi-pick set. Just reset that. So yeah, you, you're limited to five pin locks, of which in England there's about two. <laughs> um, the decoding ability is... Mm, I'm dubious as to, oh, there you go, look, you know. There's a lot of excitement about this pick. Hold your breath, hold on to your money. We're going to make an announcement in a few videos' time, which is going to blow your legendary minds off. Leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about the video. Let us know what videos you like and give us a thumbs up. We're really enjoying this channel. You legends.